Local residents have been gathering in this place in Izum since the morning. Each of them has their own tragic story. Father of Nadia Ivanova had a heart attack when Russian troops were storming the city. An ambulance came and took my father to the hospital. So when the Russian tanks entered, we were taking our child out. The father remained in the hospital. A Russian shell or a bomb hit that hospital. It was all messed up. It wasn't clear who, where and what was going on. To help the residents find their loved ones or identify their bodies, a mobile DNA analysis laboratory began to operate in Izium. It was donated to Ukraine by France. Firstly, the relatives are interrogated by the investigator in order to carry out the procedure. Then they draw up documents. Here comes a man. Here's a man coming inside the laboratory and now he will be submitting samples of materials in order to establish whether there is a person in the morgue whom he is looking for. Are the loved ones alive or killed? If they are killed, then where to find their bodies? These are the questions that each of these people asks. They are trying to find an answer with the help of DNA analysis. Dekhtyarov Andriy was last seen at home on March the 8th. Anatoly is searching for his son. At the beginning of a Russian full-scale invasion, he went in the territorial defense forces to protect the city. But it is unknown what happened to his son after that. I still can't find the information on him. Where is he? Is he alive or killed? His friends say that he is killed. Many of those who were killed in Izum were buried in the forest on the outskirts of the city. Anatoly said that his son was also there. Whether this is true, the man does not know. The out of 450 bodies, we have the personal data of the majority of the individuals, but about 200 bodies are now unidentified. Here is the place near Izum, where people were massively buried. Now you can see that almost all the bodies have been exhumed. There were cases when there was also a plate on the cross, but when we dug up the grave, it turned out that there was not only one body in it, but two or even three. This local resident says that they found even more bodies in the grave. Yes, here in one grave seven people were found. Ina Kupyanova faced the same problem. She is looking for a body of her father. She says that he was killed during the shelling. He was buried in the courtyard. After the deoccupation of Izum, he was exhumed. The body was signed to Anatoly Matyushko. Then in the yard they found another body and sent it to the morgue under the same name, Anatoly Matyushko. They found other remains and sent them to Matyushko. We didn't know what to do. We came here for a DNA test and to determine whom to bury at the end, who is ours. The same laboratory helped identify the bodies in Irpin and Bucha. According to the same practice, specialists are now working in the Kharkiv region. Reported by Andriy Kuzakov, Current Time.